All right, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the startup procedures and how to operate a cat excavator. This one is a 320. It's the same for a 336 or uh, most sizes are gonna be the same controls. But in here, um, you uh, there's no key for this one, it's coded. This one doesn't have a code, but turn on the switch, wait for your screen to fire up. Now, hit the start button. And it tells you what setting it's on, which person, it's just a guest. There's a bucket attached. Um, it's on fast speed. It's on standard controls. It's a touch screen, hit okay. And you can't move anything until you lock it out. Once that bar comes up, it's fully operational. And now, uh, they do that for safety reasons so you don't hop in or out with it uh, operational. So now it does operate. So now everything works. All right, next on the list is your speed control, which is right here. Uh, turn it, I turn mine all the way up. Uh, and now we can operate the joysticks. Um, right joystick will bring the bucket up pushing it forward will bring it down to the right opens your bucket to the left closes your bucket the left joystick going left turns the entire turret of the machine left to the right right forward brings out the arm pulling it back towards you brings in the arm and you have to work them in motion together to get the right, get things the way you want it. You can't just do one and then the other. You have to learn the motion of both together. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how we move the tracks. You saw how we move the bucket and the arm, but now how we move the tracks. You can use the handles, I've never used them because um, usually you're doing both at the same time, but it's just foot pedals, forward and reverse. Uh, your left track forward, right track forward. And when you do both at the same time, they both move forward. So we're gonna back up, which has a backup camera on this. It stays on all the time. Now we can swing around while we're doing that. So now, I'm still backing up as far as foot controls, but I am going forward in motion. So the controls follow whichever direction the motor drive is. So just because I'm moving forward, I'm actually going in reverse. I just turn the machine around. Uh, it's the same speed either way, forward or reverse. Doesn't go any slower or faster. No less or no more power. And then, uh, we're gonna go over here and knock down some trees. All right, we have a pretty large tree to knock down here. So I'm gonna show y'all, since this bucket, this, this excavator does not have a thumb attachment, which would, you know, grab and pull, I have to knock it over and then dig up the root. So I use both my controls at the same time. Thank you. 
stand out here. trees it's easier just to kind of scoop up underneath so the tree doesn't fall back towards you scoop it up move it out of the way basics on how to operate an excavator.